Good morning guys, it is about five o'clock in the morning and I'm getting ready to go down this drainage ditch and get in my tree stand. Uh, I just pulled up, I got about over an hour before daylight. So uh, these bucks, this group of bucks has been coming right, like right at official shooting light. So right when the sun comes up. So uh, I'm gonna grab my bow slip down this drainage ditch the wind's perfect it's a cool calm morning it is so calm and the sky's so clear and it's way colder than it's been so i'm gonna slip in here see if i can get on a on this deer i've been calling him wild eye he looks like a mexican fighting bull so uh big mature buck so uh, let's slip in here and get set up Well guys, I had a pile of bucks around me this morning and uh, I got the last one. It's topping the hill over here, going back into the bedding area and uh, talk about an awesome encounter. Uh, I was, I came in here playing on killing that, that uh, the bigger buck there, I believe he's four and a half years old. Uh, but I opted not to. I just know what a deer like that can look, what one more year the four to five blow up can look like. So uh, hopefully he'll make it through the year. And uh, I'm just not gonna shoot him. He's gonna get the pass from me all season. So, uh, but I'm gonna keep this camera running in here and see if what shows up during the rut. But uh, talk about a great morning, it was so nice. It's been like 90 degrees and and now I can almost see my breath. So pretty. And uh, but this spot is is the berries. It really worked well. And uh, I can't wait to see what else shows up during the rut. I know there's some mature deer usually show up here in the rut. So, uh, but uh, it's OU Texas today. So go Sooners. And. Uh, I'm gonna get home and uh, watch this football game and, and uh, Sam is wanting to go fishing.
So this is early season, you know, it's going to be a really good day. So he's wanting to do some fishing. So I'm going to get down, take it to the house and uh, see what the, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep the recon going, see if I can find a, a big mature deer. Uh, so great morning. Well guys, the, the 2023 deer season came and went and uh, I kept kind of trail camera tabs on this dude and I actually got pictures of him losing his losing his sheds had blood bloody uh you know bloody holes in his head from where he had lost his sheds and then from there on it just started here kind of velvet and uh all spring I'm just man I ain't seen him in a while uh is he okay has he been hit by a car so I went through that whole spring and summer deal and I just kept kind of get steadily getting pictures of this dude he goes uh just slowly growing in velvet and then eventually he he he's big and i got a lot to be excited for the following year and uh get a picture of him hard horned and uh it's time to go hunting for this guy again been a long wait all summer but it's time to get back in the woods hunting season comes back around 2024 season i'm back after him all right guys it's opening evening opening day 2024 deer season here and i'm about to slip in got a big one in here I actually hunted him this morning and he didn't show, but I felt like uh, the wind was right. Everything was right. I didn't bust him. So uh, it's really easy access here. So I'm going to slip in here and get set up. Look for a big old five and a half year old white tail that's in here. There's a large bachelor group. So uh, I'm going to slip down this drainage ditch, get set up, got a little stand set up down here. Let's go. I'm pumped. Well, guys, talk about a nest of bucks around me. I don't even want to breathe. I'm just like, sit back, trying not to breathe. I just don't even want to look at them, you know. I got all these bucks around me. I got lots of deer around me. And I know my shooter, he's going to be close. And uh, once I looked over and I saw, 
I saw that, I saw kind of a square body over in the thicket and uh, I'm pretty sure that was him about 50 yards away that evening. And, uh, but if I screw, you know, if any of these deer bust me, even coming out, the whole jig could be up, the whole thing could be over uh, for a while though. But uh, anyway, I managed to slip out. I let it get good and dark. I had the couple of bucks come like right by me and uh, they never winded me. I had a perfect wind and I just tiptoed out of my tree, tiptoed and waited on the right time. And I got out without getting busted and nobody knew I was there. And then, uh, but he came two mornings in a row on the, on the cell cam. And uh, so I know it's go time. The wind is right. Everything kind of lined up for me to go in. So the next morning I'm going in, I got to go in really early. He's coming up first light. So I got to go in really early and I got to be real careful on making noise uh, I gotta get in there quiet. All right, guys, it's uh, about five o'clock in the morning here. I'm gonna get in this spot really early. I'm getting in over an hour early before the daylight starts cracking. Uh, I'm kind of feeling under the weather today. Uh, I got a cold I've been fighting off and uh, just don't really feel 100%, but hey, I'm gonna get in here. If this happens, it's gonna happen at first light. This buck is uh, coming not there at night but he's coming in right at first light so uh hopefully i'll get in here and get a shot i'm almost to my spot here i'm gonna walk in take my time be real quiet see if i make this happen let's go smoke team seen him pile up over here man my camera light was sketchy but i couldn't wait no longer i let him have it uh, i seen him pile up over here so i'm gonna go get him uh about about three years of knowing this deer so it's it's a bittersweet moment praise the lord uh let's go get our hands on him oh man it's just a couple minutes in the shooting light here so uh let's go get him All right, guys, I just scored on this big old Oklahoma rascal here. Let's get a look at him. He's a large buck. He's a huge animal, uh, full grown age class. I'm so tickled. Uh, it's the first buck I've ever killed in the early season in the morning. He just happened to work out where I could get in here and hunt this deer in the morning. He is one big bodied deer. And uh, man, I'm tickled about him. He gave me a shot right at first light this morning. As soon as I got legal shooting light, I, I went ahead and took him. I've uh, been hunting him for, actually passed this deer last year. And he kind of blew up on me. You know, when I got in the stand that morning, he was standing there. I could see with my binoculars, he was standing there. And I waited. I bet it was 15 minutes or something like that. I was waiting and looking at my phone to see when legal shooting light. I knew exactly when it was and I kept looking. And uh, I, again, I was just over there holding my breath. I'm in this double ladder stand. I'm not very high off the ground and I'm just looking at that phone. And uh, it gets legal shooting light. And uh, I look over at the camera. I give it, I give it a couple of minutes. And uh, I thought I had better video than I did, but but it was trying that sensor was trying to absorb the lighting. I let him have it. I couldn't wait no longer. And uh, we we've made a lot of jerky out of this out of wild eye. We've made a bunch of jerky. Uh, made cooked. You know, everybody eats deer jerky. And when when I make deer jerky, it gets ate. And uh, the kids eat it. I make spicy and no spicy. And uh, you know, I think I I've never had 
I don't know that I've ever had anyone turn down a piece of deer jerky. So love making jerky, love sharing it with people. And uh, we, I pan fried some up after I got done cleaning it. Tenderloins fresh in the skillet. So good. And uh, me and Sam also, we, we European mounted this guy. We've got a, you know, I, I looked at shoulder mount prices are really high. I've got, I've got a, quite a few shoulder mounts. And this is probably one of the bigger deer I've ever killed. He's right there at the biggest deer I kill, I've ever killed. Uh, but we done a Euro, Euro. And me and Sam had a little fun with it. A lot of work. Um, if I'd done it again, I would probably pay to have it done. It was a lot of work. Um, probably definitely worth paying to have it done. Unless you know what you're doing and you have the right tools. But here he is. If I can get it all in there. I'm really excited about this deer, guys. Big old bases on him. And just a toad. But a really cool... Get him in a frame here. Really, really cool deer. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, so much history on this buck. Just absolutely love looking at this at this rack here. So, uh, but guys, I appreciate y'all watching the show. And uh, I hope to see y'all in the next video. Uh, I'm already, I've already building a new video. I've been doing some, some hunting, uh, some more hunting, getting a lot of good video. I'm trying to hold out on a really big deer. I'm trying to, but then the, you know, a good solid mature buck comes by and it's hard not to just let it go. Just shoot them. But uh, trying to hold out on a giant. I'm gonna, I've already killed a doe. I uh, definitely want to kill some more doe for, for, for uh, meat. But I love y'all guys and I hope to see y'all in the next video. My name is Billy Jake. Over and out.